Stabilize. <laughs> hey everyone, Zach again with another video. This one, we've got something special. I've got something special for you guys. And, uh, I hope you guys are liking this like backdrop. I really like this PD. It's just looks cool. I didn't even know I was getting it in the pack. All I wanted was the Nasher and this game with it. So that's awesome. So um, yeah, I'll show you what you're getting. What we're um opening today. That's right. You can't really see it properly. <laughs> but it's an Aether Revolt bundle. There you go. Make it easier to see. Yeah, so we'll be opening that today. I'll put you guys back down. Nice and carefully and gently. So the original price was $55 or $56. Um, I picked it up for about 45 44 I think, and um, that's because the person was having a sale. They're actually closing down, um, which is sad, uh, but I got this and a brand new binder for pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, we're going to open this up. Let's go. I don't even know how I'm going to get into this. Should have brought my knife. Knife would be a good idea. How does anyone get into these? <laughs> Alright. Let's just like tear it down. Eventually we get in. Knife would have been helpful. Oh my god. There we go. Getting into it. Yes, so it's brand new and sealed, which is awesome. It's always nice to break that seal. So there we go. Seals off. Put that in my bag of crap. <laughs> so, take this out. Ooh. There's the, um,. Here's the player's guide. All the cool cards in it. What do we want? People always went for the um, top ten best cards. Top ten coolest cards. There we go. So let's hit, let's see how right they were. Let's see if any of these are actually cool anymore. Alright, so we have. You can't see it. <laughs> we have Tezzeret up the top here. That's Tezzeret. No one liked that, really. Johnny wasn't a big thing. Uh, SRAM, not a huge thing. Mechanized production, um, I built a deck out of that, but it's not huge. Fatal push, though. Fatal push got big. The rest of them, nominal creativity, rich cards, expertise, some people play. Aether Sphere Harvester goes into a fair bit of decks. Service schematic, and Maverick Thopter Thopterist. Not too much big stuff, really. So yeah, that was that. And um, I'm really hesitant about breaking this down. Because uh, I know there's... Look, I know there's the um, poster inside, but I actually like having these. Um, so I might keep it how it is at the moment. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so we have like this little thing here, it's like a little storage box almost, you can um, open it up, a lot of people use it as extra storage, and that's what it's for, it's pretty cool, put that to the side, and then we've got the main thing, ready, we'll, we'll, have some sound effects, eh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm an idiot. I like doing stupid things. And um, what you see in here, it's like... It's like three separate, two separate compartments. One's just got the dice in it. 
Yeah, that's the dice. I'm actually really happy that I got the black one. Black and white one. I like them. There's the Aether Revolt symbol. Awesome. Spin down, of course. Put that back in there. We have the... Ah. Uh, actually, first we'll go through this stuff. There's the quick reference guide. Just teaches you a bit about magic and stuff. Meh. And then we got the um, big pack of uh, land. I believe that's just 80 land. Yeah. From what I know, that's just 80 land. Um, I'll actually read the back of this. So we get player's guide. Aetherot card box. Yep. 10 boost packs. 80 card basic land pack. Yep. That's, that's that then. Spin down life counter and quick reference guide. Yes, so that's the 80 land pack. Uh, I might just keep them. So, we'll put that back in there. And here's what we all want to see is the 10 Aether Revolt packs. Hell yeah! Let's crack into these packs. First one has Tezzeroid on the front. Um, I've heard that opening these um, boxes, the bundles, uh, you get a higher chance of opening invocations, so you never know. Might finally get that invocation today. Okay. Put that in my little box of crap. There we go. We have Ornithopter. Zero for a zero two flying. That's about it. <laughs> Gift today's one. Renegade Willsmith. Oh hell yeah! Look at that. First pack and we get an Ajani. Like I said, Ajani isn't worth too much anymore. But that's awesome. That's a planeswalker straight up out of the first pack. So six for four loyalty planeswalker Ajani. Ajani unyielding. Reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all non-land permanence cards revealed this way into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's his plus two. His minus two. Exile target creature if con its controller gains life equal to its power. Minus nine. Put five plus one plus one counters on each creature you control, and five loyalty counters on each other planeswalker you control. Hell yeah! Oh, we even got a foil. A foil decommission. Hell yeah, I feel sorry for that construct. It's being smashed. Alright, sweet. So we got a planeswalker in the first pack. I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Making out side. And next pack. I have to find the packs. <laughs> I don't know where they were. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's going to be our only mythic. I don't know, we might still get that identification. Still going, still gunning for it. Okay. There we go. Cogwork Assembler. Aerial Modification. Consulate Dreadnought. And look at that, Heroic Intervention, a Chinese card. Two for an instant, permanence you control, gain Hexproof and Indestructible until end of turn. Hell yeah. And we got those. Another Aether Revolt pack. Let's go. I'm definitely happy with that Ajani. So we have Restoration Specialist. Cogwork Assembler again. <laughs> so many of them. Pacification Array. And Solemn Recruit. I have a few of these. Three for a Dwarf Warrior 2 2 with double strike and revolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a 1 1 counter on him. On Solemn Recruit. Oh! Another foil. 
unbridled growth. That's actually a nice looking foil if I can get the light on it for you guys. Not a bad looking foil. We got those. Still going for that invocation though. Really want that invocation. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe like always. This pack's being difficult. Here, 9M Renegade, Fast World Engineer, World Fast Engineer, sorry, wrong way around, <laughs> Reverse Engineer, not bad cut, and Green Belt Rampager, so 1 for an Elephant, 3, 4, when it enters the battlefield, pay 2, en 2 energy, if you can't, return it to its owner's hand, and you get 1 energy. Not bad for energy. Oh look, and <laughs> an energy reserve. That's cool. Another one. Tezzeret on the front. Never know, we might get Tezzeret. That'd be pretty cool. Get Tezzeret out of the Tezzeret pack. Okay. Did we get a Johnny out? We did, didn't we? We got a Johnny out of the Johnny pack, I think. So you never know, it might happen. Salvage Scuttler. Tezzeret's Touch. I hope you guys didn't see that rare. Sly Requisitioner. And Yehani, Undying Partisan. I, I thought it was a, um, the other one. The thing of Yehani. Can't remember what it's called. Anyway, three for a legendary creature, Aetherborn Vampire. Damn. With haste, when and it's a 2-2, whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a 1-1 one -one can on Yehenny. Sacrifice another creature, Yehenny gains indestructible until end of turn. Look at those. So in response to things, you just sacrifice a creature, and he stays. <laughs> Split it all open. Alright, let's go. This one seems thick for some reason. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Gifted Aetherborn. That's like a $2 uncommon, I think. We have Spire Patrol. We have Reckless Racer. And we have Brawl, Chief of Compliance. Two for a legendary creature, Human Wizard. Instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Hell yeah. Okay. Wasn't thick at all. Oh my god. We got the legendary monkey. Legendary token. Look. Token legendary creature, monkey, Ragavan. Hell yeah, we got the legendary monkey. Look at him, he's so cute. Ragavan, the monkey. Hell yeah. Right. Aether World. Let's go for another pack. <laughs> Why was that one hard to open? Come on. Stop being annoying. Yep. Renegade Rallya. Scrapper Champion. If you ever want to look at these uncommons, just pause the video. Stop their arrest. And a disallow. Hell yeah. Three for an instant that counters any triggered target. Sorry. At counter target spell, activated ability, or triggered ability. So basically, counter anything. And nothing. <laughs> another one. Another Johnny. Never know, we might get another um, Mythic out of this pack. 
Because it has a Johnny again. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I know, but <laughs> hey, you gotta hope, gotta have hope. Gotta have hope that you're gonna pull stuff. Otherwise, you never will. Aeronaut Admiral. What is up there? Lifecraft Awakening. And we have Secret Salvage. Five for sorcery, exile target, non land card from your graveyard. Search your library for any number of cards with the same name and reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay. Get an Ethereum cell. Come on, second to last pack. Let's get something. Let's get something. I mean, I know we got the Johnny, which is awesome. But let's get something else. Let's get something good. I know I sound like a 10 year old asking for something good from my packs. But hey, I don't get to do this often. No, I am Renegade. I don't get to open this many packs often. Rage Giant. Efficient. Construction. In fact, the last time I opened. Ah! Oh, got these Aether. Six for a legendary artifact, Mythic. When it. When Gonti's Aether Heart or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get two energy. Pay. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight energy. Exile it. Take an extra turn after this one. Hell yeah! Yeah, we got nothing there. Um, the last time I opened a fat pack, that was back when it was called fast packs, and um, it was M13, so that's ages ago. So we managed to get two um, methics out of this pack. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with what we got. It could be better. I mean, but. I'm just happy. I'm happy we got to open this stuff too. But I would have thought, out of all the packs we've opened recently, we've gotten at least one invocation or one um, masterpiece. We have Ironclad Revolutionary, Pima Aether Seer, Renegade Wheelsmith. And we have Battle at the Bridge. Black and X for sorcery with improvise. So you can tap any amount of. Um, uh, sorry. Artifacts. Tap artifacts for land. For um, mana for this. This X. Um, target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. You gain X life. Okay. So that's all of the openings I've got for you guys for now. So what do we get? We got back to the back. Okay. So we got the Battle of the Bridge. We got the Secret Salvage. We got Disallow. We got Baral. We got Henny. We got Green Belt Rampager. Solemn Recruit, Heroic Intervention, a Johnny, hell yeah, and Gondi's Aether Heart. Sweet. I hope you guys all liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe like always. And I'll see you next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.